In this video, you will learn how to customize the motion frame feature using Rocky modules and Solver SDK. Modules are additional features that can be developed with Rocky Solver SDK to extend the software capabilities, allowing users to add external forces, remove particles, modify particle properties, gather data, and much more. You can create your own custom module using Rocky's Solver SDK and attach it to Rocky's Solver at strategic points during the simulation. And to help you create these customized codes, Rocky's team of experts provides example codes using these operational systems and supported languages that can be the starting point for your development. You can download the code examples from the SDK and modules package in the ANSYS customer portal. For this video, we will be using the Geometry Actuator Sensor Module. After downloading the package, unzip it and find it in the Simple Modules folder. Remember to review the installation guide inside the package to get to know all the code examples available on each release. The module's main code contains all the necessary calculations that will be used in the process and are separated into hooks, which are triggered at different moments within Rocky. This example module needs to be compiled by the user, and details about this procedure can be found in Rocky's Tutorial 23, available at ANSYS Help. Now we are going to use this example module in a Rocky simulation. For this simulation, we are going to set up the module for a tomato separator based on different colors of the tomatoes that are defined by the particle types. First, we are going to create cube regions of interest and position them around each claw of the geometry. These claws are going to rotate and change the course of the green tomatoes so that only red tomatoes move forward. Then in the module's data tree, select the Geometry Actuator Sensor module. In the data editors of the module, we will configure the rotation movement for each claw and associate each geometry to their respective cube region of interest. Once this is done, the simulation can be started as usual. After the simulation is finished, we can check the results and verify that the green tomatoes are being moved by the claws, while the red tomatoes are not touched by them and keep their course with no interruptions. For more details on how to develop a module like this, you may access Rocky's Solver SDK manual. This manual contains the specification of hooks and methods used by Rocky's SDK. To learn more, access ANSYS Rocky manuals and ANSYS Rocky innovation space. The links are in the description. 